5 Tips to Dating Your Best Friend If you and your closest companion share mutual feelings of love and desire to transition into a romantic relationship, it's essential to consider a few key factors. Embarking on this journey entails significant risk, as a misstep could potentially jeopardize the cherished bond you share. Therefore, it's advisable to heed these tips if you're contemplating dating your best friend. 1. Take it easy. Resist the urge to leap into things hastily, instead, proceed with caution and take gradual steps. Begin by mentally and emotionally acclimating yourself to the idea that your best friend is now your romantic partner. Prioritize establishing a deep emotional connection to build a sturdy foundation and bridge any gaps between you. This approach will facilitate a smoother transition into your new relationship dynamic. 2. Honesty. Initially, since your best friend already knows you intimately, it's essential to share any withheld information that pertains solely to your romantic relationship. Be transparent about your emotions and true to yourself, maintaining openness as you communicate. 3. Beware of what's at stake. Entering into a romantic relationship with someone else means that facing a breakup is manageable. However, when you compound that emotional distress with the loss of your best friend, the situation becomes much more challenging. It's crucial to acknowledge the potential consequences and avoid denying the gravity of the situation. In other words, don't bury your head in the sand, stay conscious of your actions and their implications. 4. No pressure. If your friend expresses love for you, but you're uncertain about your own feelings, don't feel compelled to force yourself into a response. You're not obligated to reciprocate those sentiments. Be gentle with yourself and remember that true friends will respect your emotions and decisions. 5. Taking those steps ahead. After enjoying numerous movie dates as friends, consider transitioning to romantic outings if you've both decided to take that step. Embrace typical couple activities and cultivate a romantic ambience to enhance the experience. Reasons why some married couples stop having sex. At the start of a relationship, marriage is fresh, and the desire for intimacy peaks. There's a thrill in uncovering each other, exploring bodies, and a readiness to experiment. However, as years pass, many couples experience a decline in sexual frequency, and sometimes, it comes to a halt altogether. Have you noticed this in your own relationship or perhaps in someone else's? Here are several potential reasons behind this change. 1. Routine. Numerous individuals dislike falling into monotonous routines. When life feels like a series of daily tasks, including sex, it can lose its spontaneity and allure. If intimacy has become a predictable part of your evening routine, akin to brushing your teeth after dinner, rather than a natural expression of desire, it may be a significant contributing factor to the issue. 2. Uninterested. In such instances, the thrill dissipates, the passion fades away, and the desire for foreplay or seduction diminishes. Couples find themselves losing interest altogether. 3. Kids and Parents. Many times, with children and parents living under the same roof, the desire for intimacy diminishes. Privacy concerns become prominent, leading to a gradual decline in the urge or necessity for sexual activity. This is when couples often schedule vacations or carve out dedicated couple time to maintain the passion they share. 4. Birth Control Pills Seek advice from your gynecologist for alternative solutions. Continuously relying on these pills can lead to a decline in your sex drive, slowing down your libido and increasing feelings of frustration. 5. Insecurity After getting married, numerous couples prioritize hitting the gym and maintaining fitness for a reason. They may not openly admit it, but it often stems from a desire to avoid insecurity about body changes. It's entirely natural for bodies to undergo changes with age. Accepting one's appearance, as well as that of their partner, is essential. If acceptance is a challenge, then incorporating a workout routine may be beneficial. 5 People Share Their First Time Sex Stories Experiencing sex for the first time is incredibly exhilarating. The mingling of sweet pain and intense pleasure with your partner in bed creates a sensation like no other. The tender collision of bodies, gentle kisses, and caresses can evoke the most exhilarating feelings imaginable in that moment. While not everyone's first-time experiences may be extraordinary, for those whose experiences are, it becomes a cherished memory for a lifetime. With this in mind, five individuals have anonymously recounted their first-time sexual experiences. 1. Pet Love 
The first time I visited my girlfriend's house, we both anticipated that we would lose our virginity that night. Her parents were out, and she had an adorable beagle named Sammy, who was an absolute sweetheart. Upon my arrival, Sammy greeted me with enthusiastic licks all over my face. However, the most amusing incident occurred when my girlfriend and I began to get intimate. Suddenly, I felt a wet lick on my naked buttocks, and to my surprise, it was Sammy. Although it momentarily disrupted the mood, we couldn't help but burst into hysterical laughter. After all, not many people have a first-time sex story quite like this one. 2. Breakups and coming back together. The separation from my ex occurred due to unresolved issues regarding our future, leading to a deeply painful breakup. Despite the challenges, we both endured. However, when we reunited after two years, all our unresolved emotions came flooding back. Unable to contain our feelings, we ended up being intimate, marking my first experience. It was an incredibly profound and beautiful moment. Since then, we have become inseparable. 3. I love you. It was beyond my expectations when she confessed her love to me during our intimate moment. Her words, I love you, caused my heart to overflow with even more affection for her, especially considering it was my first experience. It's remarkable how what started as a casual fling blossomed into a deep and meaningful relationship. Now, six years later, we are happily engaged. 4. It was special, but it hurt. Before my boyfriend and I finally succeeded, we made around 7 to 9 attempts. The pain was so intense that I couldn't continue. I had envisioned experiencing wonderful intimacy with him, but instead, I found myself on the verge of tears. Nevertheless, the care and support he showed me during this ordeal were invaluable. He held me close and reassured me that it was alright to wait a little longer. However, I was determined, and during our final attempt, it felt like sheer bliss. 5. Ex's name. Oops. Following my breakup, I made the decision to lose my virginity. I had been reserving that special moment for my ex, but his infidelity prompted me to let go of that constraint. So, on one occasion, I went on a date with a charming guy, and after two more dates, we ended up at my place for intimacy. It was an incredible experience, and I was eager to pursue things further with him. However, he never reached out to me again. When I mustered the courage to ask him about it via text one day, his response was blunt, I had inadvertently uttered my ex's name three times during our encounter. Talk about a major embarrassment. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.